evening everyone welcome to my channel welcome to another one of my baking sessions and welcome to my own little corner and in my own little corner this evening i'm going to be serving you jamaican green planting pudding yes jamaican green planted pudding a little over a month ago i served you guys this jamaican green plantain pudding but i did not get the chance to show you the full preparation i did not get the chance to show you the method in due to technical difficulties so this evening i am here to make it up to you so if you just come with me i will show you all of what we're going to be working with tonight so come Okay, what you're looking at is my table with all the ingredients that we're going to be working with this evening. See, all my ingredients, my tools and equipment that we're going to be working with. So, as you can see, I have my paper towel here. I have my vanilla essence. I have my almond extract. I have my raisins soaking in jamaica ray and nebbia white rum i have my coconut milk i have my nutmegs i have my cinnamon powder i have a bottle of water and over here over here is my container with my coconut milk and I have gone ahead and I have incorporated the ingredients. I have incorporated the vanilla extract and the almond essence to my coconut milk. And here I have my, I have two cups of brown sugar. I have two cups of sieved flour. Oh, I'm sorry. I have two cups of sieved flour. I have my shredded coconut and I have my grated green plantain. I have four green plantains grated. You can blend your green plantain if you want, but I grate my green plantain because I like the texture that it gives when you grate it. And you're able to taste your green plantain. So that's why I grate my green plantain. But you can go ahead and blend your green plantain if you like a smoother base. So I have my greased baking thing here and yes these are my green plantains so this is what we're using. I have my butter it is room temperature it is not hard and I have a teaspoon of nutmeg and I have a tablespoon of cinnamon powder. You don't want to use too much nutmeg because it will give you a bitter taste. Here, here I have my ginger. I blend my ginger in about a quarter cup of water, a half a cup of water. I blend my ginger. I don't want to grater it because I don't like, it's kind of tready when you grater the ginger. So I blend my ginger. Here I have my mixing bowl and yes, this is my ginger. I blend my ginger. And I have my spoons here that I'm going to be working with. So I have my mixing spoon, my wooden spoon, I have my spatula, and yes, I have a mixer. So this is all of what we're going to be working with this evening. So let's get this done, okay? So first, I am going to add my already saved flour to my mixing bowl <clears throat> i have sanitized my table i have washed and dry my spoons so everything is just ready to be used okay so i'm going to add my cinnamon powder to my flour and I'm going to add my nutmeg to my flour. I am not using any salt because I am already 
I am already using my salted butter. Therefore, I am not using any salt. Because you don't want it too salt, so I am not using any salt because I am already using my salted butter. So I am going to be blending my cinnamon powder and my nutmeg into my flour. You want to make sure that you blend your spices in your flour. After blending my spices in my flour, I am going to add my shredded coconut to my flour. And I'm going to mix to thoroughly blend my shredded coconut into the flour. And if you notice, if you notice the steps that I'm taking with this mixture, I am just trying to avoid all the lumps. We don't need any lumps in our pudding. Because if you have the sugar lumps, then you're going to have the raw flour. So I don't need any flour, any lumps in my pudding. Okay. I want to make sure we added all the dry ingredients. So after, after blending in my shredded coconut, I am going to add my brown sugar. And I'm going to mix thoroughly to blend my sugar into my flour mixture. Just want to make sure that you add all your dry ingredients first before you add your wet ingredients. Want to blend thoroughly to incorporate all the ingredients. Okay, and after adding my sugar, you notice I am cutting, I am making space, so I'm going to be adding my grated green plantain. I'm not going to add all at once because I want it to be folded properly into my dry ingredients. So we're going to fold the green planting in our flour ingredient. Mix it properly and thoroughly and make sure it is fully incorporated into our dry ingredients.
I want to fold my planting thoroughly in my dry ingredients. It's kind of bulky because it's grated, but I preferred it grated. But remember, you can always blend your green planting. You have a more refined base when you blend your green planting. But as I said, I love to taste. I love the texture that it gives when I grate my planting. It's not too fine and then you're able to practically feel that planting on your tongue. Oops, I think I need a bigger mixing bowl. Okay. Oops. Yup, I need a bigger mixing bowl. <laughs> or am I mixing too fast? Okay, let's get this done. We are doing this together. So I don't want to have any flour, any loose flour at all. I want to make sure it is thoroughly folded in the green planting. I don't want to have any loose flour. Okay, we're getting there and I don't want to use when I'm ready I don't want to you you can use a mixer a hand mixer if you want but I don't use the hand mixer I prefer using my hands with the hand mixer mixer it's kind of make your dough too refined and I don't like it you have a it for me it is so much better when you do it the traditional way by hand yes this green planting pudding is my baby this is my baby i created this green planting pudding and i'm sharing it with you guys And I hope you will be able to try this green planting pudding at home. And I hope you enjoy it. It is really nice. Okay, so we have no loose flour. All right. So I'm going to add my ginger. And I'm going to be adding my liquid ingredients This time I'm going to be mixing with my wooden spoon. Just in case you can hear in my background, it is raining cats and dogs outside. Wherever you are, I hope you are dry and I hope you are warm. It is raining outside, but it is very dry inside.
I'm going to add my butter. So I'm mixing, I want to blend out all of the mixture. Remember the flour is folded into the green planting. So I have to mix thoroughly to unfold my flour. I want to loosen everything until I get my, I get my dough as this, in the smoothness that I want. It's coming. It's coming. Yes, I know it's harder, but I don't want to use the hand mixer. I know it's easier with the hand mixer, but I love the texture that I receive from using my hand. And you don't want your, your mixture, you don't want it too loose and you don't want it too thick. Remember, you have to make sure you have enough juice to cook that that planting thoroughly it's coming it's coming i do have a hand mixer but i don't want to use it as I said, I, I, I don't want it to be too refined. See, it's coming. Okay, so here I have, just a minute. As I said, I have my raisins and they are being soaked in Jamaican Ray and Nevio rum. Mmm. So I'm going to be adding my raisins. Two tablespoons should be okay. Yes, with some good old rum. Mmm. It smells so good. I want to make sure I incorporate everything. I want to mix it thoroughly so that I don't have some things on the top and some on the bottom and I don't want any lump from, see? It is all folding. We are going to be baking our green planting pudding at 350 degrees for 90 minutes. And when at 90 minutes, if it's not ready, 
then we're going to add some more time to it <clears throat> and when our pudding is almost finished baking or when it's done baking I have saved some of my liquid mixture to make the topping because you want that nice lushy topping on your pudding you don't have pudding if you don't have toppings so I've saved some of my liquid mixture for my topping so when your pudding is practically finished baking you're going to add your mixture to your pudding and then you're going to bake for like another 10-15 minutes just to get the the topping cooked enough to give you that curdle that custard on the top I'm sorry and when you get the custard the way you want it then you turn it off you cool your pudding and you enjoy mm, I wish you could smell this I hope you all get a chance to try this pudding that's why I make sure I come back before I forget and I show you the steps to take to do the steps to take to do the batter. Oh yes, we're here. All right. It is all mixed out and as I said I did not use the hand mixer because it gives you a firmer dough when you mix by hand okay so here we go it's all done I wish you all could smell this. It is smelling so nice. Okay, yes, I know I've been mixing a long time, but bear in mind, I have folded all my flour into my green planting, so I'm unfolding my flour because I don't want any lumps, and you don't want to have some baked and some not baked. So here we go okay we are all done okay mama sita okay we are all done yes i know i am making a bit of mess but i'm going to be cleaning afterwards so now we are ready to pour into our greased baking pan i don't want to get any thing on the bottom of my pan for it to burn in the oven okay so i hope you're able to see baking pan is ready mixture is ready See, it is not too thick and it is not too thin and you don't want it too thick because you have to have enough juice to cook this green planting okay are we ready okay let's go pour into the baking tin Ooh, la 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 La. Spatula, baby. Yep, I'm getting every drop. Okay. 
okay guys we are ready to place her in the oven so i'm going to place her in the oven and i'm going to be baking her at 350 degrees for 90 minutes and after the 90 minutes i'm going to be checking and if it's not ready, then I'm going to add some more time, okay? And then I'm going to add my custard. I'm going to add my topping to get my custard. And then I will show you what she looks like when she is all done. I'll be back with you in a minute. Okay, guys, there you have it. My plantain pudding is all done it is still hot i just took it from the oven so i will allow it to cool and then i will slice and taste see my custard your pudding is not a pudding if you don't have custard yep beautiful toppings my custard is looking yummy delicious so there you have it guys my jamaican plantain pudding i hope you get the chance to bake this plantain pudding and a taste remember my jamaican green plantain pudding so there you go. Yummy-licious. A few hours later. And it is ready for us to slice and taste. Are you ready? Okay. Now, we are about to slice and taste our Jamaican green plantain pudding. Okay, here goes. Ah. Uh, it is not too soft, it is not too firm, but it is extremely moist. Look at that. I hope I did not punch my pan. Okay. Are you ready? Ah. Ooh, la, la, la. I want you to see up close how moist it is see and I have my custard the topping I want to lean so you can see the topping and look at look at my dough oh my god mm. ooh la 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 okay now we are about to taste. <clears throat> Ooh la la la. Yep.
green plantain pudding and we have our toppings i want to show you as close as i can okay so here goes mm. It is yummylicious. Mm. Please make sure you try my Jamaican green plantain pudding. I am sure you will enjoy. And if you get the chance or when you get the chance to try my green plantain pudding, please visit my channel and leave me a comment underneath my green plantain pudding mm. i swear this is yummy delicious mm. you are going to enjoy and you are going to thank me for this delicious dessert I want to thank you for chilling with me in my own little corner. You keep safe and stay blessed.